back to the channel, Northbound Motorcycle ADV. And for those of you that don't know me, my name is Forrest Johnson, and I ride a Royal Enfield Himalayan. And today, I'm traveling north on Highway 101, and I'm making my way up to the small town of Trinidad, where I want to show you a few sights along the way, and then uh, take you to a California State Park that you've probably never heard of before. So, sit back and enjoy the ride, and thanks for coming along. I think you're going to like it. This is a good place to have morning coffee. Take a little break, warm up a little bit. Whew. Oh yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I love Northern California. Oh man, there's some big waves coming in. That's cool.
Let's go look at some more cool stuff, huh? Best parts about taking this little detour is it doesn't take you out of your way, like I said, and it takes you right over here to Murphy's Market where you can stock up on whatever you need and you can get gas across the street. Okay, picked up a something for breakfast just gonna pull around the corner so I've got a view of the ocean while I eat it and then we'll head up the road Definitely, if you come up here and you go to a Murphy's Market, that is the best chocolate milk I've ever had in my life. It's locally made, and it's really good. I highly recommend it.
we can turn right and head back over here to Highway 101 and head north, which is what we normally do. But for those of you that follow the channel, you know I like to take the back roads as much as possible. So, instead of making the right, we're gonna go straight, as long as we don't get hit by a car, and go down Stagecoach Road. Now this road, it's a little back road, runs north-south, it parallels Highway 101, but it's a back road, and it's beautiful, and there's not many people on it, <laughs> at least this time of year, anyway. It's all about the ride, not the destination most of the time, anyway. Cute little bridge. back in here too. Got some really nice big new ones, but uh, I like that house. There's a lot of craftsmen, old time craftsman homes that are back in here, you know? Houses that were built out of old growth redwoods back in the day. Houses that'll last forever. Beach and picnic area open sunrise to sunset. Okay. What do we got here? Camping is $35 a night. Day use fees. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's go on in. I'll show you around and then I'll fill out my day use fees on the way out. Now, it does have a visitor center over there to my right, but it is closed for renovations. I do know that. Okay, so what we got here? Campfire Center, Sumeg Village, yeah.
So this looks predominantly a Sitka spruce forest. Got a few other things mixed in there. Some red alder it looks like. But mostly Sitka spruce. We'll take a closer look at those trees in a minute. They're pretty easy to identify. The bark kind of flakes off like it's a big potato chip. That's what I used to tell my kids when they were growing up. It was easy for them to remember. How are you? Good, yeah. Oh, hanging in there? You for a ride? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. Okay, welcome to the Sumeg Village. This is pretty cool. A recreated, recreated Yurok Village. I think that's going to be pretty neat. Let's go check that out, huh? Let's see what's on the other side of this. Oh, look at that. That's pretty neat. And with the amount of rain we get, they could totally adjust these for winter conditions. That's pretty cool. Let's go take a look. Now, I don't know if this was like a house or if this was a some kind of smoke shop or something. Oh wow, look in there. Another door over there. Huh. That's pretty cool. It's a little too tight for me to get down in there on that one, but man, there's a whole bunch of other ones. Let's go take a look at that one over there. Maybe even that one. That one looks pretty cool too. Okay. Now this one looks really cool. This one's a little easier to get into. <laughs> oh yeah. Well that's pretty cool. Um, they got all the nails in here. I bet that they use this to like dry meat or something. There's a fire pit here. Got a ventilation up here and everything. That's pretty tight. Yeah, take a look at this. All these planks. And then the way they have the roof set up. So you got one propped open for air get the smoke out and that kind of thing. I bet this is a smokehouse of some sort. Huh. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Look at that one over there. Look at the way they have the, the roof design on this one. Now that's pretty cool. See how they have it all tiered up in here so it's, they can let the smoke out when they got a fire going. And look at all these notches. Isn't 
very nice. Oh, this one's locked up. Maybe some kind of storehouse or something. There's a, now that's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, there's quite, quite a lot going on here. This is a, a great day for this. All right, so we're coming up on Wedding Rock. Wait until you see this place. It's unbelievable. A lot of people come up here to have photos, you know, weddings, that kind of thing, engagement photos. But as soon as you make this turn, <laughs> ooh, baby. Wow. Well, that's pretty spectacular. Get a load of this. I think it's time we go for a hike. <laughs> Let's go park. Okay, so Wedding Rock is, uh, <laughs> well, it's a local favorite, so take a look. Especially when you can pause on the trail. It feels like that.
All right. Let's go look at some more cool stuff. There's another cool spot in this park. Well, there's all kinds of cool spots, really. I mean, it's just intertwined with hiking trails. So if you do camp here, you're plenty of places to go hiking and around here. Not just the ones that, you know, I'm showing you. There's tons through the woods and stuff. Now it's a li lots of little nice, uh, day use spots too. But I'm gonna go show you some of the campground in case you do decide you want to stay here. And they do have cabins as well and I didn't know that until just the other day. And uh, I might just stay at one of these cabins. But if I do, I'll do it on a rainy day. Because then I can stay dry and they're heated. And even though this place is beautiful on a sunny day, it's pretty spectacular on a rainy day too. All right, Agate Beach. Yeah, pretty in here, huh? <laughs> okay. So the campground loops around that way. There's a lower campground here, too. See, if we would have taken that, we would have come out right here. There's quite a few sites in here. And like I said, in the summertime, this place is packed, so. Uh, here's the cabins on my right. look pretty good to me oh into the road I guess I sure hope you enjoyed riding along with me today as we made our way up to Trinidad and explored Sumeg California State Park. I hope you found this video useful and definitely I hope you found it entertaining. So if you like my take on visual storytelling, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do, you might want to consider sharing it with a friend. They might like it too. And if you do all that, well, we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for riding along. Emerald Triangle from the Eel River Brewery. If you've never had it and you like pale ales, 